Next we're going to be doing valve covers. Um, so replace this gasket. It's a kind of a pressed in one. Um, pretty easy to remove. And then once you get this all off, there's also little rubber ones inside there. I just wanted to show once you get your uh, old gasket out of your valve cover, these bolts pop out quite easily. But then you have this small, almost like an O-ring gasket on here. Easiest way I found, you can either just kind of pull it with pliers, so it's really easy if you grasp it like that, flip it over, and then use the bolt just to pull it right off. The new ones, put oil on it, it'll slide right on, piece of cake. Okay, we're gonna be placing the valve cover on now on this side. This one's a little bit trickier since we didn't remove the uh, alternator. But uh, stuffing the gasket in place. Um, like I said in the disassembly video, if you have not replaced your PCV valve, please do that cheap to replace it it's easy and it's going to save you from possibly early engine failure i believe our piston rings failed early um, we know it was because of excessive oil consumption what we don't know is if it was because the pcv valve was failed for very for many years and it was just sucking up all kinds of oil or what but it's a cheap cheap insurance to uh, try and prevent something like that from happening so um, we've got our gasket oiled up so it's not stalling on dry bolts. Also, just put a little bit of oil on these threads. Helps them go in a little easier. These two bolts are the ones that have the nuts on them. That's what help hold your uh, coil pack on. Some of these bolts, they do have little mounts on them. Um, so it's helpful to keep them in the same orientation where they came out of. That way it makes it a little bit easier during assembly so you don't have to play around with which mounts go where. Eight millimeter, pull them down. Um, torque spec on these. Let me grab that. 
expect is 105 inch pounds. Um, that is pretty much just hand tight. Um, not much more than that. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm not even going to pull out the torque wrench. These are big, thick gaskets. They're not under a lot of pressure. It's going to be just fine. In fact, the uh, shop manual doesn't even recommend a certain tightening pattern. It just says tighten them evenly. So tighten them up. Okay, that's all there is to it. Repeat the same process on the other side. 